Ireland for the tiniest amount of time imaginable. Then we were in Romania, and from there we went to Bulgaria, Athens, and then Turkey. This video, though, is going to be about Bulgaria. Yeah. Which is probably my favorite country in Europe. It's going to be about Plovdiv. Mm. Plovdiv is going to be the 2019 cultural capital of Europe. I would kind of equate it to Prague in that it has a lot of cool ancient things to see, except if Prague had no tourists. You should definitely go there before the rest of the world discovers that Plovdiv is incredible, mm -hmm. and then they ruin it. <laughs> you never get that feeling of being overcrowded. Absolutely not. We did go in the winter as well, or November. A bit um, off season, yeah. But on top of that, Bulgaria is definitely not on a lot of people's travel radar. It's not Paris, it's not Prague, um, which makes it amazing, right? Yeah, and it's really not as cold as I thought it would be. Like looking at the weather ahead of time, we had our big winter jackets, we were prepared for it to be really cold, and then. It's fairly warm. Yeah. Well, it's pretty um, I don't know if that's good luck or the I, norm. But. I don't know if it's just because we're Canadian too. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like 10 degrees Celsius. It's a great city just to walk around it. Yeah, we, we just walk. A lot of the streets are completely pedestrian. And yeah. there's just things to see everywhere. We walk from the train station to our hostel in the old section of town. Mm. An easy, maybe 20 minute walk. Yep, that really interesting walk. Too. A lot of places where you can hike, just walk 20 minutes from your hostel or 15 minutes from your hostel and hike up a mountain and be the only people there. Just amazing. Club that is, is super beautiful. Everywhere you go, there's something really amazing to find. You can't turn Blocking the cool street there. Find a fortress on a hill. The city has three main mountains, I think, and I believe we walked to the top of all three now. Over in the distance there. Right over there. You can see the Roman ruins we were at earlier this morning. This one has a really cool 16th century clock tower. Plovdiv is incredible for a few different reasons. You can compare it to places like Athens or Rome, and you have all these incredible ancient ruins. Unlike when we went to Athens, you can just walk around and climb all over ancient Roman ruins. Free access. Yeah. Not that we wanted to climb all over Roman ruins. Yeah. You do that in Athens, people go blow whistles in your face, scream at you. I'm proud to say that we, we never had a whistle blown on us. No. <laughs> Plovdiv is also one of the oldest continually inhabited cities in the entire world, which is really neat. So it has a lot of history to be explored. We walked by a jewelry store that was displaying their jewelry on an old section of like Roman walls. Yeah, it's just popping up in the basement. Popping off in the middle of the city. <laughs> the ruins popping off all over popping the city. Off. But Pop they're everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Our hostel in the, in the breakfast room had just sections of Roman wall in the corner. Just had yeah. breakfast with some Roman wall. Oh, yeah. And uh, a bunch of store owners in the main strip of Plavdiv had found ancient seats in their basement and they. Um, uncovered part of it and found out it was a giant old Roman Colosseum. Um, but that's definitely one of the appeals. Yeah, just the juxtaposition. Because you'll just be on like a, a, 
unassuming corner, there's a bus stop, you're, you're walking around, and then to your right, here are some ancient pillars from Rome from like the second century, just like completely out, like there's no wall, there's no sign, there's just, nope, there's some ancient pillars. You think of the random columns just hanging around? Rome. Oh, hey there, Rome. Oh, yeah, there's some more Rome. Yeah. This seems wrong. You walk through a courtyard and look down. Oh, look, no one runs. And right in the buildings, too, there'll be shops where there's like displays sitting on ancient pieces of Roman architecture. For relatively cheap too, um, you can get into the other um, ancient ruins, and then there's no one else to compete to see the site with. If you were in the yeah, ancient had it all amphitheater, completely by yourself, so you could just wander around. Testing, testing. This is what Plavdiv looks at night, like at night. <laughs> yeah. Also, you should know before you go to Bulgaria that this means no. And this means yes. Which is difficult if you don't know Bulgarian and you need to communicate because you can't nod yes or no. You have to learn how to say da <laughs> and nie. Da. We knew ahead of time that uh, nodding your head is no shaking your head is yes. And even with that knowledge under our belts, we still failed miserably. Failed miserably. Because it's just so ingrained in you. You definitely rely on gestures for communication. You definitely do. And um, I went to order coffee at a train station. We were taking the train from Sofia to Plavdiv. And I asked the lady if I could buy two coffees. And she went, what did I do to offend her? She did mean mug me too. Yeah, scowling means yes as well, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Although that being said, everybody in Bulgaria was yeah, really super really nice, friendly. super friendly. We had a really uh, friendly conversation with a, a lady that had lived in Canada for a while on the train. Yeah, chatted yeah. us up. Nice so time. Nice. The train ride from Sofia to Plavdiv was incredible, regardless of what all of the people think. Yeah, that was weird. We read that, oh, it's a boring train ride, yeah. there's nothing to see, and uh, the scenery was amazing. Through yeah. the mountains, and really beautiful. it's gorgeous. And also, train travel is really cheap. It's cheaper than bus travel. Yeah. And I would take it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I enjoyed the train experience. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the fresh air from the open window really helps. It's pretty hot on this train otherwise. People are amazing. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Oh, super cheap. Um, yeah, very affordable. Definitely a culture shock if you can't communicate, and that's a plus. Yeah. I think. The food is cheap and delicious. Mm -hmm. The beer was fairly good. Oh, yeah. I think the best food I've ever eaten in my life. What is it? I don't know. It's got potatoes and it's good. Oh, those literally my two favorite foods. Mm -hmm. And bread. Super delicious. Delicious. <laughs> delicious, super delicious flaky delicious. cheese bread. Mm. Right. Oh, also, the street art in Plavdiv is incredible. Amazing. We encountered some really cool street art. And then there's a guy walking on the street art. We'll be doing a more in-depth uh, travel series from this trip that we took, and we'll show you much more of Bulgaria and the other countries we visited as well. Just a little yeah, taster of our favorite. Yeah, a little taster. Did you like it?
slice. Peace out, Internet. My mug. No, this is my mug. <laughs> so, 